Cincinnati, Ohio courtroom, who police say confessed to a robbery killing a 20-year-old woman and seriously wounding her boyfriend. Portia Brooks was in her car with her boyfriend Aaron Martin when Smith Riley came up to her car with two others looking to rob them. When Smith Riley found out Martin didn't have any cash, he was shot in the head, leaving him with permanent brain damage. Smith Riley then shot at Brooks, which killed her three days later. Sorry. Fast up. You 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 know what you're doing. You shot her in the head. And shot that other nigga. This is somebody that feels genuine remorse. This is somebody that thinks about this every day, and he knows that he can't go back in time and undo what he did. Now, Portia Brooks' mother delivers a victim impact statement. Nigga, was you born yesterday? But he killed me mentally, emotionally. He killed my identity as a mother of three, as a family of four. This is now Brooks' sister speaking. I have to deal with life without this is little kill shit. Portia, so he should deal with life without without parole. This is moments right hey, before. Hey, chat, at? Huh? Jaleel Smith Riley gets the news that he will never be allowed to return home again. And I'm sure return of life without parole. Yes. We pray for times like these. For the offense of the attempted bitch. murder. <laughs> this is this Diana you? Lovejoy. She used to be married to Greg Mulvihill living in Carlsbad, California. But soon their marriage fell apart and they divorced. After a messy divorce and lots of legal trouble, it ended with the court ordering Diana to pay $120,000 to Greg for his stake in their family house. The court also ordered that she must share custody of their son. Diana became furious about hearing the court orders. So she planned to kill her ex-husband by teaming up with her boyfriend, Weldon McDavid. Greg her boyfriend got a BBC, what the f- HUH?! Her boyfriend black? I told you the white snowboarding love niggas! For his stake in their family house, niggas. the court also ordered that she must share custody of their son. Diana became furious about hearing the court orders. So, she planned to kill her ex-husband by teaming up with her boyfriend, Well, Bro, she love niggas, bro. I told you snowboarding love black niggas. They be piping up with that f Weldon McDavid. Greg was shot in the torso, but luckily the bullet didn't hit his heart and he survived. Both McDavid and Diana conspired to murder. And the those guys, did you pray today? Huh, that was, she like, man, you call me like, nah, 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 nah. I still got plans for you. It's sufficient evidence against them. <laughs> it's so painful that people, some people in this world seem to think that I would have it in me to do this. Interestingly, she fainted in court. She lowered her head down toward the defense table for a few seconds. Verdict. We, the jury, find the defendant, Diana Jean Lovejoy, guilty of the crime of a attempted murder of Greg Mulvihill. And right when you hear guilty, you hear a thud. Guilty of the crime of... Cons <laughs> Bitch in the head. Conspiracy. To commit murder. Silence the courtroom. Aside from hearing her family cry in the background. <laughs> like, she got stiff. She got stiff. Bring her out, she still appears to be passed out. But doctors later found out she had only fainted. Weldon McDavid received 50 years to life in prison Damn. because he was the one that pulled the trigger. That boy ain't seeing a lot of day, boy. He already looked 50. Add more 50 to that. He looked like he's 56, 58, maybe 60. Nigga, he ain't living long enough to see the world. He ain't, bro, he never be out to play GA6. Diana was sentenced to 26 years to life in prison. Damn. This is Seth Welch and Tatiana Fusari, a religious farming couple living in Cedar Springs, Michigan, and they are charged with murder of their 10-month-old girl, Mary Welch. Reportedly, they told police they noticed the baby was skinny and underweight, but did not seek medical attention because of their religious beliefs and mistrust of medicine the and the government. This is the 911 call of the father when he reportedly found his child dead. How long ago did you find this child? Uh, it's about an hour and a half. I um, was waiting. I called my lawyer for bro, see, people, some people can't be fucking parents. This is why, bro. To ask, you know, what's the next thing I can do? So you found the child an hour and a half ago? Yeah. And called your lawyer first, correct? Yeah. Okay. When was the last time you had contact with a child? Uh, last night, um, about 
Uh, bro, this is sad, bro. You know, they did this for the child like that. They are weird. Okay, so you put it in bed last yesterday at 3 p.m.? Yeah, and then this morning at like 10. So you're saying Don't look sad now, Goofy. You're going to sleep somewhere around 3 p.m. until 10 a.m.? Uh, you know, it's about 9, 9.30, yeah. And he said, when you found her, she was already believed to be deceased, right? Yes. And that's when you consulted with a lawyer? Yes. Do you believe she was beyond help already? Oh yeah, she was dead as a daughter. Soon after, the autopsy revealed that the cause of death was malnutrition and dehydration due to neglect by the adult caregivers. And this is the moment they realize they will be spending the rest of their life behind bars. Then you're both yeah, as they deserve. With, Man, skip this one. Bro. With what they call felony murder, while in the perpetration or attempted perpetration of child abuse in the first degree, they're alleging that you murdered one Mary Welch. That is a charge called homicide and felony no. murder. Skip it is bitch. life without parole. It requires a yeah. taken upon arrest, which is often like a cotton swab or in the inside. Got that nigga. Pray for time, lady. The second offense Get these that you in the lot to keep those. These niggas in the and throw degree, away the key, man. Where they're alleging you knowingly or intentionally. You have a lot of cocks in his mouth. Keep that mouth like that. Work that mouth, nigga. about this Mary Welch. It is a felony. Bitch, don't cry either. Possible penalty of up to life imprisonment. Or any term of years, yeah. less than life. Yeah. So, a Colorado man that went I on hope a crime spree that spanned five counties and was broadcasted live by a news station's helicopter. Oh, Stone was convicted of carjacking three vehicles, including That's one with a four-year-old inside the SUV. Right, that Authorities said when Stone sped away, he led police on a chase at speeds over 100 miles per hour. <clears throat> if we rewind here, you can just Nigga, barely dog, see a vehicle drip. that Stone was driving clipping a trooper with a Colorado State Patrol as he was trying to play stop. Oh! He ended up with serious injuries. Damn. You see Stone pull out another victim from their vehicle Nigga, and dog, GTA. Off. He heads right into a busy intersection. And now, the chase is on foot. Damn. He books it off the road into a parking lot, running in between two buildings. As he slips on the ice, he loses his jacket. <laughs> now there's just a fence in his. No man. Running in between two buildings. As he slips on the ice. <laughs> That's leak snapper right there. That's... <laughs> Nigga, follow him face, bro. What? As he loses his jacket. Ah! Now there's just a fence in his way, but nope, it's too high. Cops now close in. She got your weight up, man. Surrenders. Stone is now in the county jail, but he believes he That's should be getting part. paid for his internet fam while bragging to his friends about the high-speed chase. Hey, did you know I made the news in the UK and Australia? What? Yeah, we get paid by YouTube. So, uh, Channel 7 News, I believe, is going to be the one that gets paid for that. Well, um, I'm going to contact Channel 7 News. I want to get paid. You guys are getting paid using my name and my video footage. During his opportunity to address the Nigga, why you a criminal? Or about the recordings in jail, Stone blames it on emotional stress and the use of drugs. We are going through trial after that. It was a week and a half trial. Extremely stressful. One of the phone calls about seeming like I was bragging about this uh, like making bragging. international news, this, that, and the other. That was within the first week of being arrested. Still coming off of drugs. Stone was convicted of 18 charges, including Okay, hey, buddy, we believe you. Attempted manslaughter, child abuse, and assault. Then the judge sentenced him to 160 years in prison. <laughs> this <laughs> is Esteban Cardio. The police were questioning wow. him for the stabbing. Oh, this nigga devious. Who's this, bro? He got a dog muzzle on. This nigga got it this on wicked shit, bro. He got a dog muzzle on. What you doing? An 85-year-old woman in Rhode Island. In the interview room was Carpio and two detectives. One of the detectives left the room to get water for Carpio, leaving just him and Detective Sergeant James Allen in the room. Carpio grabbed Allen's gun and then shot him twice, killing him. 
Damn. He then jumped out of a window which was three stories high and made a run for it, but was apprehended just 45 minutes later. At his arraignment, Carpio came in wearing a mask designed to stop the offender from spitting and biting at others. With also his face being in rough shape, it stunned the courtroom. It wasn't so much Carpio with the shocking reaction, more so his family members, making accusations of police brutality. He just shot a cop. Need to be the main ones. My son is innocent. That nigga just shot a cop. He took a gun and then jump out the third story window and shot and stab an old lady. Talking about some free him, free him. That nigga no, put him in prison. Talking about some free him. Nigga's a whole criminal. He's a mastermind criminal, nigga. He's a whole villain. Step off, step off. Get it out. Not guilty. It's gross police brutality. He was mentally ill and he needed help and we couldn't get him. We tried and tried. And he didn't deserve this. An FBI investigation did concluded it. that the police did not use excessive force and that Carpio's injuries were sustained due to his jump from the third floor of a building and struggle with law enforcement. Every day I face the facts of what I did and what happened. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole. Yes, sir. Pray for time, like this. We pray for time, like this, man. Get these goofies out here, man. You wash your body. Get these boys out here, out here man. Dirty washcloth. Where are that guy? Go in the galore. Go in the shadow room, nigga. You stay there, nigga. Mm -hmm. Stay there where you lay there, nigga.